Okay, this is James Possible, and uh, this is take oh, 1005. Well, maybe not, but it feels like it. <laughs> okay, aka DS Domination, also known as. And I decided to create this series called uh, What Would You Do? And it's a trading series that is uh, going to be based on the UOP MetaTrader 4 binary option signals. And this is part of my process of uh, working with my demo account, which I highly recommend for you, uh, because it what it does is it takes the pressure of money off the table, and it allows you to focus on the indicators, the, the trade signals. Um, it allows you to become proficient at understanding what actually is going on uh, without the worry or concern of losing uh, money and depleting your investment account. So the series is going to each each trade and my goal is to have somewhere around a hundred trades maybe more. Um, again this is just as much for me as it is for you and I'm just taking the time to share what I'm uh, what I'm learning and observing as I go through my process of learning and I highly recommend that you do it as an individual um, because it's just important if you really want to be an effective and profitable trader uh, this is just part of it uh, can't say any more than that just there's work involved either you do the work or you don't and then whatever you have at the end is what you have um, each chart well before I go there Part one is going to walk you through the the setup, and that setup can be complete, incomplete, um, and that's the whole point of what would you do? And I'm going to walk you up to this certain point in in the trade, and you 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 will see the super signal, the three in the yellow circle, and you get to decide, and you can share with me and others in the group or uh, Post below on on the YouTube side uh, what your thoughts are now the second part will actually play out the remaining part of the scenario so you can actually see the outcome the outcome will only be made available to those that are a member of the UOP options mastermind group uh, on Facebook and uh, you can find out more about that by uh, friending me on uh, Facebook I'm James Possible and then also those who are already subscribers on my email list um, you will have access to the second part of it there's just a lot of time going into this series and uh, you know if you're not uh, a member of on some level uh, I'm just not willing to share uh, the gold nugget at the end of each video with with just everybody okay and that's just the way I'm going to do it so each chart is going to represent a five minute period that's what we're trading five minute uh, binaries binary options and I'm only going to be working with currency pairs the goal there on currency pairs um, well I didn't really say that the way I wanted to um, if you have stocks or indices or uh, gold, silver, something like that, and you can get that, bring that into your MetaTrader 4, then this training will help you as well because uh, the price movements, the signals will work the same. I'm only going to be focusing on currency pairs. I happen to like trading Forex. Uh, now, the signals on the top side of the chart there's going to be three signals the two super signals 2VB okay that's the first signal right there right there then the second one is the MBFX snatcher and then the final one on top will be the XCL countdown timer now I know uh, for those who are familiar with the UOP setup uh, this is a simplified version of the indicators I don't include all of them and the reason is I don't see a whole lot of benefit to all of them. Uh, these are the ones that seem beneficial to me, 
and when I do use all of the time the indicators these it lags my system it slows it down and it becomes very difficult for me to make trades um, effectively because um, my MetaTrader 4 will actually pause and and not show activity as it's processing so um, I've went ahead I've gone ahead and simplified it uh, recently in some of the trainings with Reginald uh, he has showed us that uh, on the bottom side he's not even used in the MBFX timer as well so I'm staying with strictly the stochastics oscillator as is he and the way you get to that is in the indicators folder there's another folder called oscillators and under that you'll see stochastics oscillator now if you don't go into the oscillators folder you will see an indicator called stochastics it's not the same indicator okay so you want to make sure you go under indicators oscillators and there's your stochastics oscillator all right now moving on here's a snapshot of the indicators window uh, from within a chart you can see there's the three on top that I described and the indicator window which is on the bottom as described and here's the first char chart we're going to look at it's uh, Aussie US so AUD USD currency M5 that's a five minute chart here at the top right is that timer indicator and this is actually a countdown on the current candle so this candle right here with the yellow circle and the three on it um, has a little over three minutes left before it closes and then the next candle begins to paint now that's a three the purple is a two and the one in the orange or brown circle is the third signal now the size tells you the strength of the indicator the one is, is not really a strong indicator at all it, and what it's indicating is a reversal all these three signals are indicating reversals okay the purple is a little bit stronger reversal signal however we don't in the UOP group we do not recommend that you act on uh, the one or the two you strictly focus on the three in the uh, yellow circle uh, and the thing is if you just focus on that one indicator trust me you will have more trades than you can imagine so now it's just up to you to learn how to do it how to how to use these indicators effectively and to become profitable as a trader then the rest you know yeah once you have a handle on it and um, you have a, a high ratio of wins the, the rest is history you're 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 going to uh, you're going to do well you're going to grow your investment account to a size that will produce a monthly income for you and that's that's the ultimate goal here and down at the bottom this purple line is the stochastics on the bottom side you have these these dots on the bottom are the oversold indicator so when the purple line drops below that lower dotted line that means it's oversold when the purple rises above the top line that's the overbought indicator and 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 really that's the areas that we want to deal with the above the dotted line on top the overbought and the below the bottom line the oversold because those are where the reversals are most likely to occur now they can occur anywhere in this spectrum but the those are the most accurate um, timing uh, indicators for us to use <clears throat> so let's I'm going to go ahead and start this and again this is the part one of this particular uh, trade and I'm going to walk you right up to the setup and here we go I'm going to let you watch it. Keep in mind that these are five minute candles. I'm not really sure in this particular video how many candles will display before we get to the final setup. But just uh, sit back, you know, get some popcorn, watch it, and then 
once it comes to the end, make that call. Talk to yourself. <laughs> Decide what would you do, and then share it. You know, share it in the in our group on Facebook. And if you're not in the Facebook group, uh, you can find me on Facebook, James Possible, and um, you can subscribe here on YouTube with me as well, and contact me there. And uh, I'll share with you how to get a hold to become a member on my mailing list as well. So you can have access to not just this first part, but the second part, which is where the gold is. Because then you get, then you begin to really see what you're actually doing. So now I'm going to be quiet and let you watch this, um, this portion of the video. All right. <laughs> Now notice how on the top right the time is ticking down. And you can see this candle is largely red, which is means it's pushing down. It's going down. The stochastics actually shows that it's uh, pushing down as well. But now watch. And here's exactly why we don't trade, initiate the trade, when the signal is on the candle because you'll watch we're going to go from red watch the sto stochastic line change as well see now we're starting to see green it's in it's being indecisive it's uh, bouncing a little white when it turns white that just means that the open and close price are matching but we still don't really have any clear understanding at this point. And there it goes, it starts to turn green. Uh, we're about 10 seconds remaining on this particular candle. And see how it pushes up. Look how the stochastic line pushes up as well. And so now we're at the end of the setup. So you, do you see exactly why we, we don't trade when the three, we don't trade the candle when the signal is actually on the candle. So there you have it. This is uh, the end of the video. And the, again, the question is, what would you do? Would you get into the trade? Would you pass on the trade? And um, what are your reasons for that? Make a note. Um, join us, you know, leave a comment on YouTube, leave a comment in the UOP group, and uh, let's see if we can become better traders, more effective, and more profitable together. Uh, believe me, the Forex is a $4 trillion a day um, market. <laughs> that's, that's like ginormous. And uh, there is more than enough money flowing for all of us to make money together. And not all of us are going to trade the same signals, um, but I'm hoping this will help you. I know it's been helping me to accumulate and, and uh, find these live trades that are potential setups. So again, this is James Possible, AKA DS Domination Dad. Thank you for joining me on this first video. <laughs>